Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are playing with a new mod that is all about sewing. So it comes with this little sewing machine and a sewing skill and I think what it does is it basically allows you to build up a skill in sewing and then sell your clothing, wear your clothing, which is pretty impressive. I'll quickly show you the mod. So this is the mod we're playing with today. It's the Retro Sewing Machine mod made by Ozzy and Mariam. Comes with quite a few new features. Traits, mood buffs, sewing machine, which comes in a few different colors and plenty of gameplay features. So I will leave a link to this page in the video description if you like the look of this mod. So one of the things you can do is you can assign your sim the designer trait in Creator Sim, and I've already noticed she already has a focused mood buff from it. I really need to get to Fenty by Rihanna status. I should get to drawing designs ASAP from thinking about trending designer fits. Shayla appreciates all the finer things in life, but the most important is to claw to the top and start a fashion brand. Perhaps doing some creative work like drawing patterns will be soothing. And I think that's probably a good place to start. So let's get to this bad boy and maybe practice on paper and then we'll practice some designs. See if we can get our foot in the fashion design. Even has a separate animation for how she sits down. Oh, look at her go. Look at the concentration on her face. She is thinking about every sew, every stitch. Quite cute, really. I've always preferred it when sims are able to make money off of a creative hobby. Like when they do candle making or something like this where they can make their own clothes and sell them. I've always preferred that a lot more to doing the career path in terms of making money. Because I just feel like unless you do the active career, which most of us have done a million times because it was the first expansion. It's just a bit boring, isn't it? Oh, Shayla's got a new skill in sewing, which will allow her to get familiar with the vintage sewing machine. Okay, good. Well, let's work on some patterns and designs. What should we do? Casual? I want to start with a gown, actually. Make ourselves a little ball gown like Cinderella. That's what I'm about. Let's take a look at these designs. Looking good. Oh, they actually do look like a Cinderella dress as well. She's inspired flawless pieces. The lines, a snip snap here and there, and we are done. They will fit all shapes and sizes. They must. Well, shall we maybe give it a go? Um, so gown. Now the welcome wagon can fuck off. Although it is Bria, she might be able to give me some weed on the cheap, but it looks like we've got off on the wrong foot there. For the gowns, you need eight fabric units, four zippers, and six threads. Stock up, boo. Oh, okay, boo. I guess I better buy some fabric and buy some zippers well we'll just get a bit of all of it won't we thread and needles buttons good thing i've got a bit of money in my pocket isn't it oh i like the little pictures here in the corner okay we got some fabric we have a zip buttons done she's got a, a mood buff for buying the fabric as well ah oh, fabric check now nothing is stopping me from sewing to my heart's content. So many ideas. Right, well, get over here then. Let's make this gown. I want you to Disney princess the fuck out of this game. I really like the way she sits down. I don't know. It's just, there's a bit of swagger to it. It's like when she's sitting down, it's like she's, I can read her mind and it's like she's going, oh, all right. Look at her go. I wonder if these items will be in creator sim. I'd be, I don't know, I think that might be expecting too much. Maybe she can just make them and then try them on? I really don't know. Thank you to the creator of this, by the way, for uh, reaching out to me. The person that made this mod sent me an email and gave me early access to it. It is on their Patreon and I'll leave a link to download the mod. If you want to get your hands on it yourselves. Right, where's that dress? Is it in the inventory? No. Oh, she failed at sewing. Maybe it's a faulty machine. Maybe it's because you just don't know enough. You haven't built your skill enough. Okay, so that's probably why I can't see it. I think she fucked it and um, now it's just disappeared. So maybe we just need to work on your sewing skill a bit more. Where are we now? Well, we're, half, we're nearly at level two and it's one of those skills that it goes all the way up to level 10. So practice makes perfect. 
Oh, wait, I think she's saying that she destroyed all of her fabric. Oh, you stupid bitch. I went through a phase when I was a teenager where I thought it would be really cool to, like, cut up my old t-shirts and turn them into cushions. And because, you know, I, like most people, before I became a teenager, was a child, all of my old t-shirts were really, like, cartoony, you know, like Powerpuff Girls, Simpsons. So I just had lots of cartoon pillows. Hey, leveled up to level two. Well, there are ten to go, so keep going. Got to get on that grind. I remember once when um, I was at my grandparents' house and they lived closer to my school. This is when I was in primary school, so I was under the age of 10 and we had like a school disco going on and I had nothing to wear because I wasn't at home. So uh, my aunt was like, oh well, you know, I'm sure I have something like a sparkly top or something that you can wear. So I found a t-shirt that I really liked had rhinestones on it and I went downstairs and I was like yeah this is the top I'm gonna wear and uh, I was told that I wasn't allowed to wear it and I just couldn't understand why. My grandma decided to take a picture of me wearing it and showed it to me recently and I remember being genuinely really like proper pissed off at the time that I wasn't I wasn't allowed to wear a t-shirt that I had picked out and then when I saw the t-shirt there was just me as a kid wearing a red t-shirt with the word porn star written in diamond like rhinestones <laughs> across the chest. And I just couldn't understand why I wasn't allowed to wear it to the school disco. And I feel like, you know, this mod is a good, um, a good way of being able to actually get what you want. So now I can make my own porn star t-shirt in The Sims and no one's going to stop me. I guess what I'm saying is, with this mod, we can all be porn stars. And that's what this channel is about. Reaching your ambitions and goals in life. Oh, now I think I'm doing that thing where, you know, I'm just watching someone do something, so I'm just trying to talk for the sake of talking, and then I just end up talking utter shit. You know how it is. Right, so we are, like, on level two now. So I wonder if she screws up the fabric again. I mean, level two isn't really that high. And I'm not too sure which of the, whether this is like in order of difficulty, you know, like with the nifty knitting stuff, you start off easy with like a hat and then you can go further into making more things. But this just offers all of it. And now I'm thinking maybe I should have started with something like small, like maybe a toddler dress, but I'm not gonna be able to try that on. Maybe I'll sew some casuals, yeah, see if that works out, and then maybe we'll give the ball gown another try and see if we can um, manage to not screw that up. I do think it's quite funny, with every interaction, she gets up and then gets back again, so it just looks like she's constantly changing her mind. <laughs> Did you fuck it up again? Oh, she fucked it up again. So, if I want to build a skill, is the only way I can do it through the sewing machine? Like, is there maybe a book I can read? I don't remember reading much on the Patreon page about there being other ways to um, build that skill. So, I presume probably there isn't. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to check, does it? No, there's no book. So, the only way you can build this skill is by practice. I just really want to see some completed garments because I want to know what my options are. Can I wear them every day? Can I wear a ball gown every day? Can I sell them? And what does selling them look like? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, we know how to build the skill. And it's not really like a lot of the other skills in The Sims in that it doesn't just build up very quickly. It takes its time, which is quite nice. It adds a little bit of challenge to it. Although what I might do, just to kind of fast track this a little bit... Oh, flawless pieces! I'm gonna um, increase her skill to the max level just to be able to see what we can do if we did reach the highest sewing skill. Oh, here it is, sewing. There we go. So I wonder if my options are still the same now, retro sewing. Yeah, I have the same, but I could try sewing a satin jumpsuit now, which I should be able to do. Master seamstress over here. Oh, I just need to restock my supplies. What have I got in my 
What have I got in my inventory? Lots of units of fabric. So I should be able to rustle up a jumpsuit now. All right, go on, go. Let's go. She automatically goes to draw it first, which is good. That's good planning you got there. What's your name? Shayla. Good planning. Okay, here we go. Try not to fuck this one up. Oh, shit. Look at that. Looking good. So what does she do with it when she's finished? Does she hang it up? Aww. She, she, she's stopping just to have a little look at it. That is some art right there. Okay, let's sew a few more pieces. And then, oh, she can wear it, tweet it, sim talk it, simstagram it, set up an Etsy shop. It's actually really fun. I'm having a great time. Oh, there's our casual outfit right there. Beautiful. I wonder if all the casual outfits look the same. I think they all are going to look... I think they're individual pieces. I think if she went to sew another casual, it's going to be um, the same as that, I think. Quite impressive, though. I'd be interested to see how things change as the mod comes along. Like, if more clothes will be added. Interested to see how it progresses. <gasps> Just like Cinderella. Beautiful. She feels so proud of herself. She does a little smile every time. Well done. Yeah, the same casual outfit. Okay, let's um, let's set up an Etsy shop. And then we will sim talk it. We'll simstagram it. We'll do all of that. And I'm going to get her to wear the, uh, the jumpsuit. Okay, we've opened up our Etsy shop. Looks like a few sims are following Shayla. I wonder what would happen if the creation would be shared on Etsy. Sell it on Etsy. Well, we will then. Oh, unsuccessful sale. Looks like no one is interested in buying your clothing. Maybe you should try to gain more recognition in social media. Oh, you look fabulous. Come over here. Let me take a look at you. Fabulous. So I wonder then, if I were to... Let's just... Just to do a little test. If we gave her loads of followers, like... Um, so let's just say we give her 10,000 followers... Would that make any difference if I now try and sell this on Etsy? Is it going to... Oh, no. Still no one is interested in buying it. Oh, check your followers. Oh, okay. So it's a completely different social media side altogether then. 1,500 people are following you on social media. You're growing. Huh. Okay. That's gone up to 2,000. So maybe if I just get her to post a few more... We might be able to get a good sale. Don't even know what the going price is for casual attire. Can we wear our princess dress now? Oh, look at you. You look amazing. So graceful as you open the fridge in your ball gown. What happened to the red jumpsuit, though? So now her main outfit is just her, um, her blue dress. Yeah, we sold something. We sold that. Oh, great. I wonder if this is going to show up in Creator Sim. I wonder if any of these items do. I have a feeling they won't. I don't know why, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, no. It has shown up. Oh, yeah. There's my, uh, my red jumpsuit. Let's keep the jumpsuit on. Well, there we go. That's a high-level look at the sewing machine mod. To be honest, I'm quite impressed. I had a bit of fun while playing with it. I like the mood buffs you get with it, and I like that you can create custom clothing and sell it or wear it yourselves. And you can pretty much start a business. You, your sims don't need to get another job. They can just make clothes for a living. So, as I mentioned before, if you want this mod, I will leave a link to it in the video description. It is on Patreon. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.